Morning, everybody. Today, I would like to talk about some needs that exist for Guadalupe Center Charter School's current English language development program. I'd like to propose some solutions to those needs and even talk a little bit about how these solutions could be communicated to staff and other stakeholders. It might be helpful to begin by discussing what our current program model is. Our current model is defined as a two-method approach, direct language study and integrated content in language development though the second part can be more commonly thought of as sheltered content or SEI. 72% of our district is designated as EL, but we currently only have one sheltered ELA uh, class per grade level, as opposed to six unsheltered ELA classes. These sheltered ELA classes are reserved for our lowest WIDA access level scorers in any given grade level, the lowest 15 to 20. Direct language study takes the form of a class called focused language study, which uh, targets our students who are near proficiency. So these are students who are scoring in the very high threes of WIDA access level or potentially even in the fours as proficiency is marked at 4.7. The funny thing is that our largest number of EL students actually does not fall in either of these categories, however. 57% of our ELs fall between 2.5 and 3.5 and these students receive little to no services currently. What's more, the curriculum of both sheltered ELA and focused language study is nebulous and relative to the student groupings in any given grade level because it is always just taking the highest and the lowest students regardless of what that means score-wise. My proposed solution is a dual language program where all students, though there is an emphasis on ELs, are put on a pathway towards biliteracy and dual language proficiency. Under this model, students would receive content instruction in the language they are the most comfortable in. This means that students scoring 2.4 or lower on the WIDA access test would receive content in Spanish for math, science, social studies, and also in language arts, when it comes to language arts content skills, such as context clues, metaphors, finding theme, all of these things students can benefit from in Spanish. Our ELD classes, our language acquisitions classes, would be renamed English Foundations. English Foundations 1 would focus on students that score 1 to 2.5, English Foundations 2 is where students would begin to transition out of Spanish-speaking classes into sheltered English-speaking classes. English Foundations 2 would focus on students scoring 2.5 to 3.5. English Foundations 3 would focus on students scoring 3.5 to 4.6. These students would still be receiving sheltered content in all other classes. This plan is estimated to require between 20 to 30 new Spanish-speaking staff roles. A full breakdown of what this need would be and where it could be designated is provided in my full proposal. This would be a big change for Guadalupe Center Charter Schools. And I think it would be important to begin rollout of this plan six months prior to the school year where it is intended to start when it comes to staff awareness. So that's why in January, I would make a large uh, whole staff PD where um, the needs as identified here in more detail would be explained and then the why and the how of how this is going to impact students and make their lives better would be fully explained. This would be followed up in February and March with town hall PDs where teachers and staff members are able to present any and every question they have about the program model and have their anxieties alleviated. If a question cannot be answered in the moment, then it is imperative that within a week's time, a document is presented to all staff, all district, that has an appropriate answer to that question. 
This will work wonders on teachers having buy-in on the plan. And if teachers are bought into a vision, they will move mountains to make it happen. In April and May, planning and logistics will really begin in earnest. Summer curriculum stipends will be provided to ensure that lesson plans and curriculum are in place for the August. And August rollout will officially commence the plan with quarterly assessment and feedback to follow. Thank you for your time. All of this is discussed in more detail in my full proposal.